Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and it is for Thursday the 13th of February 2020 for all signs. So as usual, okay, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. So the first card out, we have, wow, transformation. You know, and the butterfly is the icon for transformation. It is where a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, something that is not attractive, something that hasn't reached its potential, something at the very beginnings of something, to fulfill its potential of becoming something beautiful and transformative. Absolutely beautiful. So there, there is a, an opportunity now to transform your situation for the better. I also feel this is about it is time to fulfill your potential. Interesting, okay. Let's pull an energy card. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guide? What is the message, please? Thank you. Yeah, what do you release? What is holding you back? because it is time to cut the ties. The attachment card can be about what is holding you back. Let me read it out to you, if I can find the book. One second. <laughs> it's so tiny, they get easily lost, you know. Okay. Perceived need and the choice to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns or even old relationships. This card is telling you it is time to take action. You need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. And I feel for some of you, it is time to transform your situation now for the better. Okay. Angels, what is the message, please? For Thursday, the 13th of February 2020, please. What is the message people need to hear? Thank you. Yeah, the way you... You know, sometimes the way we release the past is to forgive. Now, that might sound difficult for some of you, and I, I can appreciate that. But forgiveness is for you. It's not necessarily for the other person or the other people involved. This can be how you release, how you let go, how you draw a line under something. It is for your, be your benefit and transformation, you know. I'm going to pull one more. What else do we have, angels? Any other message, please? You know, it's not on the table, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> what else do we have, please? Thank you. Yeah, it's time to trust you. Trust you're being guided. Trust that this is the time for some of you, if it feels right for you. Obviously it doesn't resonate with everybody. Okay. Okay, let's see what we get for the daily read. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Thursday the 13th of February 2020? What do people need to hear? Okay, yeah, we've got strength. <laughs> Card of Leo. Strength, Lionheart strength. <clears throat> we have the High Priestess. Two 
two major arcana so far. Oh. Oh, these cards have got a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, the sun. Beautiful. Yeah, we have the lovers. High Priestess. Six of Cups and the Sun. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Card of Aries. We have Card of Gemini with the lovers. The Sun can also be Leo. You know, High Priestess is very associated with the moon, and we have the moon here. So a lot of moon qualities, Pisces energy. Okay, okay. So, so the lovers was always originally in tarot about a choice or a decision. Can be in love. Um. You know, and there's a big message of being guided here, you know, and being shown love by God, the divine, the universe. I mean, the sun, an angel, is shining on this couple. Now, this can be about the strength and courage to deal with a love situation. Now, sometimes we need strength from within in order to enact our strength in our external world. Um... This is, you know, strength exists when we face our fears, when we face our doubts, when we face our adversities or adversaries, you know. Um, this is where we're finding the strength and courage and power from within. And when we connect to our inner power, it is infinite. We realise our infinite power and our infinite potential to tap into that power. Um there's resolve there is courage associated with this and like i said it, it is innate change comes when we tap into our own power now it's to do maybe with a love situation for some of you some of you might be making a big choice or a decision could be to do with love and it might well be to move to, towards new love or to move towards uh, a new beginning or a new phase of your life. Some of you may need to break the ties from the past. Could be something from the past that you need to face and deal with. Um, yeah, but it's not necessarily, you know, just what is happening in your current situation. This is where you need strength and courage to understand and face what this attachment energy is. What are you holding on to that you no, need, no longer need to hold on to? Because there is forgiveness here. There is something about cutting the ties with the past, releasing it in order to move forward. Now that might, make, might mean making a decision or a choice as well. But this is saying that you are strong enough now. Come into your power. And allow yourself to be guided from within, you know. The High Priestess is an intuitive energy and there is quite a lot of intuitive energy here. We've got the moon as well. Trust your intuition, your instincts. Um, this can be also very much linked to hidden blessings with the moon card. You're being guided by God, the universe, the divine. We've got an angel here. You know, we've got the High Priestess. We've got the sun, you know, powerful, powerful divine cards here. Um, and the moon energy is also about hidden blessings. So I feel for some of you, you need to trust your instincts in order to take the decisions or take the steps that you need to take in order to find happiness again. And I feel this is reconnecting to your happiness, your happy place. Um, the Six of Cups can be about somebody coming in from the past to offer you love. Um, can also be about somebody from the past coming back. There's a reconnection energy in whatever area. Can, it is a general reading. But I, I feel this is very much about you reconnecting to who you are, finding your happiness again from within. Um, and it's, it's by trusting your instincts, by aligning with your true self, your soul self. Allow yourself to 
free yourself from the attachments and restore a happy equilibrium in your life now because this is where you're being told to take action queen of wands is somebody who takes action who owns her power card of aries um a lot of fire energy so it is about having that fire in your belly you know gemini communicating yourself clearly now and that's your internal communication as well as your external communication as well i feel i just feeling that energy you know be clear on what you want or there's a feeling that you are getting clarity um the queen of, of wands is somebody who makes calculated choices by trusting her instincts she takes action brings success abundance fulfills her passions in every way by listening to her instinct as represented by the cat there um yeah and i feel for some of you this is a big card of now is the time to own your power take action it is time to act and put something behind you you know the sun can be a card of letting go you know this wall is um coming through the other side of a situation putting it behind you in a way breaking free of the chains there's liberation with this energy this can also be about pushing your boundaries and um, releasing from a situation that might have held you back and and getting complete clarity where you didn't have clarity before getting complete clarity on your situation i'm just going to put this down one minute because i'm going to move to this card the moon is where we have lack of clarity where emotion where emotions can cloud our judgment um you know there's fears that we can control and then there's our our subconscious fears things coming from our subconscious to the surface that we can't control you know that's represented by the dog and the wolf you know our, our tamed and untamed fears within us but this is saying that you now have your strength to conquer this it is about trusting your intuition high priestess energy in order to navigate through this situation because you are strong enough and i certainly feel for some of you where there's lack of clarity it is about trusting that intuition understand that you are being guided forward everything will become clear the sun what was hidden what was you know unclear sometimes this can be about deception all was not what it seems could have been in relationships everything might have become clear but you're putting it behind you you know and coming into your natural power you know because you're being guided you know divine energy divine energy divine energy divine energy you know that you're being guided and you now have the opportunity to release yourself from something to break free to put it behind you and move towards something that is far more fulfilling you know when the sun comes out there is new growth there is um growth you know everything starts feeling good this also talks about you coming into your natural power everything becoming clear this is a card of good news as well um seeing the path before you and understanding the goal that you're moving towards and exactly how to get there by taking action by feeling those passions by finding that drive again beautiful energy you know when the sun comes out it's a, it's a sign that everything is going to be okay it is the most positive card in the tarot deck it is pure divine energy shining on you and there's massive divine guidance here so trust your instincts because i feel that is how you navigate through this i know that you are strong enough there's a, there's there's two, there's three big power cards here um know your power you have now the opportunity to bring real transformation into your life and change something that was a caterpillar into a butterfly you know <laughs> beautiful I'm going to pull a fairy card to finish off the reading. I love this reading though, because there's such hope. Yeah. We have healing. 
Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others, yes, even you, and I think you're healing. You know, the sun is a card of healing, of natural restoration, feeling restored. And I feel for some of you, you're feeling more restored in order to take action now, to put something behind you and liberate yourself from something that's gone. And you know, it's so much better when you do. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week, week, day for you. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself and I will see you next time. Thank you.